Alright, for psoas and rectus, we're going to do these together because it's the same move, just with a little thing added to the end. Um, you're going to have to raise the table up because you want the table at about butt level for the patient. Because as the patient, go ahead and sit back. You want their feet to come up off the ground. Now you'll have the patient lie back with their feet off the edge. Actually, I'm going to switch a little bit too. There we go. You want their legs to be able to hang down. So with psoas, I'll have the patient grab this leg. We want to have the psoas tight, so we come here, stabilize the ASIS, and we're just pushing down, stretching the psoas. So that isolates the psoas with the foot out. Now, to isolate rectus instead of just the psoas, it's the same move. Patient setup, everything's the same. We're going to come here, pushing down on the knee, and then grab the foot and bring it back. So now we're taking the knee into flexion, which is causing rectus to link. And PIR for the same thing, again, have the patient push against, relax, push against, relax, and for these you'd have the patient be looking down.